Hey guys, welcome back. I got another Kataria Fables for you. Uh, we're going to be doing the Lost Hammer quest, and this is an important quest because it's actually going to spawn the uh, Tunnel Mountain quest, and we're going to open up a path to the north. Let's talk to Shamrock here in Paw Village, and he's going to say he forgot where he put his hammer. He thinks he dropped it at the Mountain Tunnel entrance to see if his, he wants us to see if his hammer's still there. So we're going to accept this quest. Thanks a lot, neighbor. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I'm on a quest myself to get this veteran sword, so I was just going to see what's required to get it. It looks like three copper in code, 25 sat, uh, paw pennies, 5,000 of them, and three copper ore. So um, I was just taking a look at that there, and without further ado, let's go ahead and go to the mountain tunnel entrance. So um, thanks for watching these videos again, guys. I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed for more Kataria Fables and for more video games on the way. So thanks for your support. Thanks for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. Now we're going to head up here north in Paw Village to the teleportation. And we are going to head to the Forest Sanctuary. So let's head up there. And uh, we're going to teleport Forest Sanctuary. And uh, the Mountain Tunnel entrance is just north of the Forest Sanctuary. So uh, yeah, we're going to We're going to head that way. Here we are in the forest sanctuary. You know, there's a lot of enemies here uh, and those golems. If you're in, interested in collecting anything, of course, you can draw these golems. Um, I did. Um, just, I think I just did this for fun. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we can collect clay. Uh, they, they drop, sometimes they drop some ore. Sometimes, you know, uh, they don't always drop anything. About that time we got some clay, coal, and iron stone. So that was a pretty good draw there. Oh, there's a lot of them over here. Okay, so, um, yeah, clay is very useful in collecting the, um, the armor, the iron armor, I think, that I'm going to try to get it next, it actually requires a lot of clay, so I might be here a lot grinding out some of these things, I hate these venom guys, okay, the vengeful soul, of course, those are useful too, um, help us craft spheres, let's head up to the north to the mountain tunnel entrance, okay, and here we are, the mountain tunnel entrance, a little cutscene here with Macaron. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot with Macaron here in this, in this uh, mountain tunnel entrance in the path to the north, but I'm not going to spoil anything. You guys will have to see that in the later videos. But here is a little cutscene, a little conversation with him. And you can see there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to mine around here, and we're definitely going to be doing that because we're going to need all the copper or uh, gold or silver or silver ore that we can get because, uh, you know, we can craft keys, we can craft armor, we can upgrade our farming materials, whatever we want to do with it. So let's just finish up this little cutscene. You can see that the entrance is blocked. Oh, that stone is so stubborn. We can't move it. It won't even budge an inch. How do we move this giant thing? So that's, yeah, going to start our next quest line path to the north. We're going to have to talk to Chief Oliver, but let's get Shamrock's hammer first. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mine some of this. Oh, no, I think I accidentally hit the wrong thing. I need to get a bow. Uh, I don't have a bow or a ranged weapon on this. It would actually be very handy. Uh, so maybe we'll get a bow before we upgrade any armor after we get our... Uh, veteran sword and you're gonna see why that veteran sword is so important uh, later on because uh, through this through this quest path especially this quest line uh, we're definitely gonna need all the power that we can get so stay tuned uh, for that here I am just mining the silver ore uh, there's these these rocks actually drop a lot the bigger ones especially will drop like silver gold and copper all at one time uh, but i've noticed they don't spawn very often so uh, they are a farming location because of course everything kataria fables does spawn on its own but in this particular case it seems like that this stuff spawns every two or three days maybe in game time so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and collect all this that i can and there's there's plenty of it and uh, plenty of it will respawn again this is going to be super useful and upgrading stuff and of course getting keys you can see that there is a locked chest there that is a copper key is what's required so we're going to be coming back for that later and uh i have my inventory was full so i didn't collect that vengeful soul or that stone but let's go ahead and get shamrock's hammer for him okay there we go quest updated and we're going to teleport back to paul village and we are going to give that hammer back to shamrock
So as you can see, finding Shamrock's Hammer is not too bad. We're going to go ahead, and here we're in the Paul Village, we're going to go ahead and go down to Shamrock. We're going to turn this hammer in. He's going to be super happy uh, that we're, we're giving him his hammer back. So let's talk to him. Oh, I'm happy to hear you found the hammer. His grand-grandpappy would haunt him if he didn't have the hammer. So, uh, yeah, I'd say he is grateful. We got 500 paw pennies there. I'm just taking a look here at this veteran sword again. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. That was the Lost Hammer quest. Uh, that one is fairly simple, but it does spawn the path to the North Quest line, which we will be going through in the next video. So do not forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.